the drama, the clothing, the scenery, the story. Whoa, I like really go off on these tangents. This video, I just wanted to talk about the, the movies that I would want to make. I think since starting on this path of like wanting to get into the, the film or TV industry, people have always asked me like, oh, so why do you want to do film? Or like, what types of films would you want to do? And honestly, I've always just thought like, I am down to do all of the movies that have already come out again, just recast. And that's, I think, Part of the reason why I wanted to get into casting. Um, I think I'm learning that um, casting has some pull of course. In terms of this question of what type of movies would I do, I've come up with five ideas that I would love to see on the big screen and I guess I'll go from five to one. Number five being I would love to see a movie about an Asian woman transitioning. Uh, I just found a, a person's channel that I thought was really interesting on YouTube. So seeing like male to female transition would be really cool. I guess it would be one thing if it was like a female to male transition. These stories I to me are just so interesting and I would love to see the art of it like played out. The drama, the clothing, the scenery, the story. Another movie that I would love to see is a story about like a Native American hacker. And I think that I definitely need to learn a lot more about the Native American culture. Like some folks might, and myself included, might feel like Native Americans are whenever they're included in history. It's it's a lot of like American Native Americans were part of the past of the United States of America and they're not so prominent today. Thankfully, I've also gotten or like seen on my news feed that there are a lot of Native American women or just Native Americans that are that were recently elected to the US government. So go Native Americans. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I think mixing in Native American, like a story about a Native American who is also doing something really like tech and futuristic would be really cool. Like even like a Jason Bourne type of thing where it's like Native American in the future. And the third one is kind of like a dream of mine. I've grown up watching a Vietnamese opera called Gai Lung. Um, and it's usually like a drama, a tragedy. And I remember my mom would borrow them from the library on these VHS tapes and I'd watch it with her. My sister was not really interested. My dad also didn't like my mom watching these tragedies because he felt like they made the, her very sad. I also think that it's really beautiful because it's like a musical uh, and I usually don't like musicals, but because I've grown up with these, I just think that they're, you know, normal. And they sing so well, and they act really well, or at least some of them. And I'm just thinking about all the Gailung actors that I've grown up with. I would love to see that, and I would also love to see, like, a really good modern day production of a, like, old Gailung movie of, like, emperors and queens and princesses and generals, and I especially love generals costumes because they have these two feathers that come out of their shoulders to like signify that they're part of the military or like a high um a high level in the military and i just i love i love the like the the bellowing sleeves and i love the sparkles and i just love all the fringes and um and i love the headbands and the long hair and i and especially with Gai Lung, i love Gai Lung dudes in with their long hair. It's, I love it. And number two, I would love to see a movie that shows the impact of colonization, like American colonization, slavery, and how that has impacted white supremacy to today. Like I need it, I need this movie to relate back to 
how we are right now because I'm thinking about the movies that I see about slavery and it's very important because it's about history and information but it also like unless I make the connection myself I don't think that it really show it doesn't it just stays in that time period it doesn't show how uh, communities of color around the world or like communities of color in the U.S. are impacted by colonization of even like the U.S. just like 50, 100 years ago. And even now, like so many, so many possibilities. And when I talk about this, I'm kind of like, will this type of story ever be made? Like who would want to tell these stories and where would the money come from? So that's number two. And the movie that I would most want to get made like my dream movie i hope this movie gets made before i die i should be making this movie is i would love to see a movie about a queer asian woman who kicks ass who does martial arts and catches the bad guys like i and i think it's kind of like a, a stereotype of like asian people doing martial arts movies but and i also kind of like think about it like these action movies now what were they like before martial arts movies came out? And like now they're doing these like combat things. And of course, I guess it also comes from how we fight now, but it incorporates martial arts. And I, and it's funny how like martial art movies came out before and now we're seeing, we're not seeing as many martial art movies, but people are still doing martial arts, just not with Asian people. So that is my spiel on the movies, types of movies that I would want to make and would love to see be made. I hope that the people who watch this will comment down below and let me know what movie that you would like to see. And I guess I hopefully will see you next week.